Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Gareth, I'm Wellbeing Services Manager here at Trust Links, and I just thought we'd sit and do a bit of art this morning. Um, really, quite a mindful way of taking your mind off of things, de stressing, and also, obviously, because we're Trust Links, I decided that I'd go out for a little wander in the garden this morning and collect some easily accessible materials. So, we have um, a few leaves. Um, I was looking for things with different shapes. Um, I know in the video yesterday, Tracy shows you the fig tree. I was really hoping for a fig leaf. Um, not to wear, I would add. But to, uh, to do what I'm gonna be doing this morning, which is going to be a leaf outline mandala. Now, I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. Um, I know Georgia put a message out earlier um, to say, you know, try and gather some materials um, and I try to make it as simple as possible so hopefully the majority of people will have things in there so yeah, I'm gonna start with a plain piece of paper um, and something round I've gone with a small plate also managed to get a bit of um, tape so anything anything that you can draw around obviously whatever the bigger it is the longer it, is, it will take so it depends on how long you've got as well but i'm going to go with the plate today so um, obviously first step is to pop it down the paper and draw around it i will at some point hold this up for you to see as well um i don't know if there's oh we've got five people hello Please feel free to comment and say hello while you're there. So, simple circle, which is actually quite massive. This is gonna take a little while to do, but I suppose we've all got a bit of time on our hands at the moment. And then like I say, your basic materials, if you're able to get out and about and go for a wander, um, great activity to do with the kids as well if the kids aren't at school looking for things for them to do um, you've got the activity of actually going out and looking for things that you can make art with but also um, then getting back and actually doing something with it so the idea is is that we're going to be drawing a mandala which is the fig leaf mandala hello Matt um, so um, like I say I've got a selection of leaves all different shapes it might be that you just want to do one, but I'm going to start off and basically the idea is, is that you're going to fill the space in within that circle that you've just drawn by drawing round your leaves. Which especially if they're old and crispy can be easily, easier said than done. Um, just a basic outline on there at first. So, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to turn out. As you can see, first leaf drawn, and then just have uh, just play about with it. Just you know, let your mind let your mind go go with it and sort of get in a bit of a creative zone. So you, you can have them overlapping, just drawing round. Like I say, potentially use different leaves as well, or different, different shapes. If you're not able to get out and sort of pick up some leaves, then maybe you've got some interesting shapes of bits at home that you can, you can use instead. find hi Victoria I've just seen your comment popping up I say 
Mm. Really good to say in that as the art. It's more about the process than the finished product, which is something I'm really grateful for today because I'm really not sure how this is going to turn out. But like I say, it's, it's about the process. It's about not having that thought um, or taking your mind off it. It's something that can be really, really quite mindful. So um, like I say, there's no need to to rush the process if you haven't got anywhere to be, anything else to do. Um, I know there's a lot of anxiety in the world at the moment with a lot of people. Um, and I'd say just, just take some time to just chill out and do something that's going to be beneficial, really. You know, take your mind off it, refocus your mind, and have a bit of fun with it, really. So I'll just give you an update as to where we are. That's a really good point, actually, Matt. Yeah, if, if well, if I, I don't know if anyone's drawing along with me, um, if or whether you're watching this back at some point, but would love to see your finished, um, your finished pictures. I like the shape but also it smells really nice not the easiest to draw around though but right. so like I say the idea is is that you're gonna fill the fill the shape here fill your circle with as many shapes as you can find. Thinking potentially I should have drawn around something a bit smaller, but I might say it's more about the process than the finished product and we will definitely get there. As you can see at the moment, it looks a bit... So I've just seen your comment, Matt. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would be good. The smells in the garden are as, as good as the sights sometimes. So, um, like I say, doesn't look much at the moment. Um, potentially, you've probably got some pens, coloured pencils, all the rest of it. Um, that's your basic outline that we're going to be working from. Um, good way of making the, your picture really actually pop is to grab yourself a thick black pen um, and go around the circle originally and then all of your interlocking leaf shapes Hello Sue. I was going to say, is there anyone out there drawing along with me? You're making your own art with at the same time? So I really would like to see it. I'm sure it'd probably be probably be a lot better than this. Got 12 people. Please feel free to say hello. I'm trying to make it as interactive as possible. I'm trying to look down and look up at the phone at the same time to see that see that there's still people there and I'm not just talking to myself. 
<laughs> Blue Peas, read your hearts out. Fantastic comment. Actually, I, it's, it's odd that you say that. I thought that before I came in, I should have actually had that Blue Peter moment of, here's one I prepared earlier. So if this one didn't actually quite work out, I could have just pulled one out, but actually um, I could have done last night. I'll remember that for future editions. They still do blue peter badges, Victoria. That's something I'll have to look into. I know my dad had one once. He was uh, he was on blue peter. He played weirdly played a drum, a bass drum, while a horse walked up the stairs. It was probably one of the most surreal things I've ever seen. Even even with the world as it is at the moment, it was it was still quite odd. Trusting's pin badge. Thanks, Matt. Yeah, that would be that would be good. I should have worn my should have worn my fleece today, so we got the got the logo in. So I don't know if we've got any any endorsements from companies. I'm hiding my mug at the moment because I'm drinking out of a Cadbury's mug. But. Right. So, this is where we are at the moment. Like I say, you can fill that up as much as you like. It's basically just basic shapes. You can see your oak leaves there, um, lemon balms in there, ivy down there. And the idea then is that you just let a bit of creativity flow. Um, I'm gonna color it in with Sharpies. I mean, potentially you could do, if you've got watercolor, if you've got watercolour paints, you could you could do some painting with it. Um, you could even possibly even fill those shapes in a bit more with sort of zentangle type designs where you sort of fill the shapes up. But I'll possibly leave that for a for a different um, different show. Now, to me, that looks a bit like a globe. So I'm gonna choose a blue pen. And start filling in some, start filling in some colours. Um, probably not going to go with the red and green design. Uh, blue and green design. Sorry, I don't know what globes red and green. <laughs> All right, so that's that's the immediate thing that sort of came to mind. Your, your leaves being the continents, and the rest of it being in the ocean so I'm just gonna go through and fill out some spaces just seen a comment I'm assuming that's Georgia to say hello Kirsty kids say hi hello hello to the kids as well and yes um, I, my dad did play a bass drum while a horse walked up the stairs my, my memory's a bit hazy I was quite young at the time but my dad my dad's a, he's a musician in the army for quite some time and uh, Often got pulled into some really weird jobs. I have no idea what the skill of the horse was, whether it was just like it's the horse's party trick that it walked up the stairs. I've been desperately trying to see that footage again. Um, hasn't made it to YouTube or anything yet, but um, like I say, it's a very odd memory. But, yeah. I don't think you've lived until you've seen a, seen a horse walk up the stairs to the beat of a drum. It 
So anyone else doing some drawing at the moment? Feel free to post some pictures and everything else. I say, so, well, the po the post will be uh, will be put up later as well. So even if you find ten minutes later on to to sort of create your own, you can have a virtual gallery of everyone's everyone's work once we're done. try and make it a bit more interactive we've still got 12 people listening pick a color tell me a color so far i've gone with a sort of blue purple pink like victoria says other chocolate was available other colors are available so i'm gonna put it down to you to choose the next one i'm gonna go with green someone shout a color at me Thank you, Alison. Orange it is. Alison, you have chosen the one colour I don't have. That, I think, is probably the closest I've got to orange, so we'll call that orange today. Actually, it's coming out more orange than it looks on the lid, so I think I've got away with that one. Thanks, Kirsty. So I spent last night racking, racking my brain for some other ideas. Um, and I've come up with a with a few so you never know if this one goes well we'll uh, we may make it a a regular regular slot um, not planning in any way to hog the camera but you know, it's good that we've all coming together to create a bit of content keep keep that interaction up with people oh 19 people Hello everyone, if you've just joined, nice to see you all. I say, I'll, uh, I'll just, just become aware that half of you probably can't see what I'm doing other than colouring, but all we've done so far is um, had a little bit of a walk around the garden, picked up different leaves, um, brought them back indoors, drawn around the plate and several of the leaves, and just going through a process, nice mindful art process of filling in the gaps, taking your mind off of whatever else may be stressing you out, going on in the world, and just having a bit of time to refocus your mind. seen a comment say this is brilliant that's uh that's, uh, i'm hoping that we're we'll get, be getting a lot a lot out of this um, just in case of or right, just in the case of actually just talk, still talking to one another and interacting i'm new to this whole live streaming thing Bit alien, but I'm quite enjoying it at the moment. Hi, Joe. Nice to see you. Hope you're keeping well. Joe, seeing as you just joined us, can you pick a colour?
he said there that he's well done all the trust things for adapting so well. It's, uh, I'm really, really pleased with how the live thing's going on. It's really good to see people, see people interacting with us. And like I say, it's just something that we can still try and provide and you know, be there for people. So isolation doesn't have to be so isolating when you've got people to talk to. Now, magenta, is that close enough? Say so. So we're really keen to hear your, everyone's ideas on what, what else we could be live streaming. And obviously it was fairly sort of thrust upon us. We have got some, had some, well, we've still got some really fantastic ideas on what we can do in, but obviously it's, it's all about the interaction with you guys as well. So if there's something particularly you want to see, please do let us know and we'll, we'll see what we can put together for that. Guided relaxation, I think that's definitely an option as well. Um, I say it's about catering for, for what people want and what people need at this time as well. So I say your your input. And trust things has always been about the people, it's been about the community, and that's what we're keeping together. some green on. There's no way of telling how long I've been on for at the moment. I don't want to be getting to the point of, of boring people. But like I say, if, if anyone is drawing along and you're able to take a copy or take a photo of of what you've done, it'd be really fantastic if we can get a online gallery and I'd be really interested to see what what you're creating as well. So we normally run an art group here on a Tuesday, which I know people really enjoy and is will will be missing. So there's nothing stopping us doing all those things in the comfort of our own home and still talking to each other at the same time. So I say, and never been a better opportunity to showcase some of the things you're doing as well. Keep going, Gareth. I will do, Matt. I'm not quite finished yet. Matt, you haven't chosen a colour yet. Have you got a favourite colour? So, let's get up how we're looking so far. I want someone to nominate a colour for this bit. Green and orange. Actually, that's a really good plan. I'll see if I can incorporate a Trustlings logo. In fact, I should have should have started with that. I could have done a, drawn a Trustlings logo in the middle and then uh, then filled the gap around it. I'll remember that for next for the next one we do. I'm sure there will be a next time as well, Matt. There's uh, plenty of ideas going around. Hello, Tanya. 
Like I say, we've got about 14 people ducking in and out at the moment. Um, I don't want to keep sort of repeating myself for those who've already seen it, but we're just doing a nature mandala. Um, nice mindful exercise. Take our minds and refocus our minds. Um, draw them around the plate, collected some leaves, draw them around the leaves. And now just in the process of filling it in and hopefully creating something that's going to end up looking beautiful. This is a good thing that you can do with the children as well. Really interesting in terms of, well, really useful in terms of getting them out. If you're still able to get out and about, just go for a wander around the local park, have a nice nature walk, see what you can find. Um, I've noticed while I've been doing this, while I was drawing around the leaves, I had a couple of bugs coming as well. So that's, uh, that's good. I might incorporate it with Tracy's next talk as well. She can actually tell me what half the leaves are. Just I'm obviously aware of that being ivy, holly. I've got an oak leaf down here as well and some lemon balm. There's an interesting plant over there, over by the Wellbeing Hub, which has got an interesting shaped leaf. Some of them are massive though. I think that would have taken quite a while to have coloured that mandala in. But like I say, if we've got time on our hands, then you know, we can go wild. I mean, to be honest with you, we could... I'll, could have done this on a bit of flip chart paper if you've got resources and things like that at home to be doing with and, and some time to kill i'd like say so you can make a make a really nice interesting interesting bit of bit of wall art poster so, keeping the kids entertained with sort of two activities in one Hi Tanya. I have to admit, I am, I am really enjoying myself. I'm, I'm trying to keep it as uh, as interactive as possible. So, like I say, if, uh, if you've got any ideas as well, sort of art-wise, please sort of send them our way as well. We can we can sort of do a, do a weekly slot on it. And uh, like I say, feel free, to, feel free to draw along. I'm really interested in seeing the stuff that you guys are doing as well. Good point, Kirsty. Yeah, big one to paint. Bye Joe, thanks for joining us. So pretty much coming to the to end of it now, only got a few a few spaces left to fill in. Um, but it's coming together nicely. Um, you could probably do a bit of a variation on this as well, where, you know, signing different emotions to colours. Um, so make it really quite mindful of, of what you're doing. I'm trying to make a nice, bright, optimistic picture with as many bright colours as possible. Um, but like I said, earlier when I sort of remarked that it looked a bit like a globe and um, you could you could choose some nice soothing pastel colours and just using what I had available um, which is the box of sharpies that's generally always on my desk never far from my sharpie and uh, but like I say you could you could do this with colouring pencils you could do it with paint Several different different ways of doing it, and like I say, choosing choosing your colour schemes, possibly based on your mood or 
based on nice calming influences. So, like I say, it's all really about engaging in in the process and. It's just taking your mind mind off of it. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but since I started doing this, I've started feeling remarkably calm myself. I was quite nervous about coming on camera originally, to be honest with you. Um, but as it's been going on, I think possibly due to the due to the fact that I'm sat here doing something quite enjoyable as well, it's really really calmed me. Oh, brilliant, Kirsty. I look forward to seeing that. I was going to say, get, this, get the children out in some fresh air, go and find some bits. Like I say, it doesn't even have to be restricted to leaves, just anything interesting shaped around there. Um, I did find a snail shell when I was out in the garden, sort of having a look for this as well, so. Um, or even just things that you find lying around lying around the house Some nice interesting shapes but yeah really really looking forward to seeing the scene that you've created later so please feel free to post it up on the on the page so I get a virtual gallery going of all your all your work because i'm sure there's a lot of talent out there thinking potentially I should have done a little a little bit of a smaller one. I am running out of things to say while I'm going on it and I'm conscious of the fact people are probably just sitting here watching me colour in. I mean I'm having a whale of a time. <laughs> I don't know how interesting it is for you guys. fridge at the moment at home we've got the kids artwork and things they make at nursery but I may take this home and see if I can get mine on the fridge as well hi Kirsty good to see you hope you're doing well I like say thank you um, if you wanted to like I say get involved post your pictures up um, like I say potentially we can we can look at getting a Getting a nice, nice online gallery together of everyone's everyone's creations, which would be really nice to see. Share some inspiration and ideas as well. Uh, so like I say, the good thing with art is always open to interpretation. So even if it doesn't look look how you originally intended it to, it might go a little bit off off piste. Um, but no one. No one need know. No, no, just, just sort of create and go with the go with the feeling with it. So that's where we are at the moment. I've got a couple of spaces left. If anyone wants to give me a colour, what else can you draw? Is that to me, Matt? Um, several sort of things. Like I say, I wanted to do a nature theme today, um, but I've got a few ideas up my sleeve. Um, one which was really, um, which I was really keen on doing, I didn't quite get the preparation in, in time to do that today, was uh, 
nice mindful exercise um, which is called drawing your breath um, where basically you make marks on the paper based on noticing your breathing in the first instance so um, for each breath you might want to draw an up uphill um, or a peak for the for the inhale and go back down for the exhale you need to do that in one continual line or um, or several for each breath but then also actually noticing your breath um, so obviously when you're stressed when you're anxious um, you probably feel that your heart rate's going up your breathing is probably quite rapid and that's where you can actually become aware of that and actually change how you're feeling and change your mood by actually focusing on your breath so potentially you may start just by noticing your breath and find that um, you've got uh, you've got quite quite shallow breaths quite shallow lines because of because of that but then actually you could either physically uh, focus on changing your breath taking nice deep breaths getting lots of oxygen into your brain um, and having that relaxing benefit from that and uh, making making some beautiful art in the process so I don't want to give too much away on that one though because we can we can do that another day I'm quite looking quite looking forward to doing that. We've got some different ideas with different mediums. Um, one thing I used, well, one thing I quite like doing with that is actually wax crayon. You can do it with a white crayon and then watercolor over. So actually you might not even focus on, you'll be focusing on making the marks on the page but not have anything to see from it. But then as you brush over with the watercolor, actually all of those breaths that you've taken while you've been making that art, um, sort of then becomes apparent when you wash over with the watercolour it makes a really really nice effect so I think I'll probably do that for my next live stream but for now that's the leaf mandala all finished I haven't decided which way up it looks best yet but that's all from me like I say please post your pictures really love to see what you've been up to and again any ideas it's been really really good to see you all um, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you again when I see you. Take care.